kal halalium la Yahweh Bahasham shall Yahweh shai Bahasham Rakha Kodash, which is ancient Paleo Hebrew for all praises to Yahweh, the Heavenly Father's only name in which we shall be saved, who the world ignorant calls Jah and Jehovah, in the name of Yahweh Shai, his son's only name in which we shall be saved, who the world ignorant calls Jesus, Yeshua, etc., in the Holy Spirit, which is the wisdom and understanding of these holy scriptures. All right. I want to say double honors to the apostles and elders of breaking the stone and salutation to the sincere Akim and Aquatium that's holding on to this truth, this knowledge, this wisdom, this understanding with all sincerity and truth and fear. All right, first, and, um, I just want to say Salakia, you know, if there's noise or, or whatnot, but you know, my current location is a bit, um, um, this is where I'm looking for, active. <laughs> all right. Um, I just want to go and tell this and um, deliver me from evil, right? And in this truth, you come to notice that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh is the one who's delivering us from from evil and temptation. Because um, our wise elder, Apostle Tahar, once said that we are no match for Satan. We are no match for these left hand side demons, all right? And it's Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahushai that strengthens us and delivers us from these from these afflictions and temptations, all right? And, you know, when we slip up, you know, it's His mercy that, that forgives us and, and gives us the strength to continue, to continue to hold on to the name, continue to read the scriptures and, and so forth. And this is, this is, to be honest, to be 100, this is uh, honestly what I'm going through right now. Some situations that I'm being placed in and you know the flesh is yearning to do these wrong things but you how about shimmy or shy moving these wicked things out of my way you know moving the the, the, the um this thing for so that i won't fall and it's beautiful and and it makes you more grateful to serve you how about shimmy or shy it humbles you all right so let's get into it this is our uh, sirach chapter 2 and verse 11 for yahweh is full of compassion and mercy long suffering and very pitiful and forgiveth sins and saveth in the time of affliction all right so first he's compassion all right first he's full of compassion and uh let me just check that word compassion slack yeah so i was going to look up these words because uh I was good to look up these words because you got a deeper understanding of what the scriptures mean, you know. All right, compassion. It says deep awareness of suff of the suffering of another, coupled with the wish to relieve it. Ooh, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. All right, let's set it, let's check the etymology from the Middle English, Old French, Late Latin, compassio, sympathy. From com from compatai, past particle of compassus to suffer with. From Latin, come together, come together and pati to suffer. All right. Again, I'm going to read it. It says deep awareness of the suffering of another, coupled with the wish to relieve it. That's beautiful. And Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Um, you know, he created everything, so he understands everything, and and. You know, you know, fools that say, "Why, why me, God? Why slack you? Why me, Most High? And why me, Power? Why we do this thing?" You know, they don't understand. How about Hashem? How should I understand? He's full of mercy, long suffering, right? But long suffering means patience. He's going to be patient with us, knowing that, knowing that you know we're in these flesh, and 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 you know we're trying, we're, tr we're trying to serve Him willingly. Are very pitiful you know he's gonna feel he's he's gonna feel sorry for us all right and forgive it sins and save it and save it in the time of affliction so he forgives his sins and he'll save in the time of affliction knowing that when we're weak he is strong know that when we we're purged and we can't we can't do anymore when when he see that we're sincerely fighting this battle he's gonna save us in the time of affliction all right 
So let's get the next precept. This is uh, Surat, chapter 4, and verse 13. All right, and it says, the law should be found perfect without lies. Oh, Slakia. Yeah. It says, the spirit of those that fear Yahweh shall live, for there is hope in him that saveth them. All right. Let me read it again. The spirit of those that fear Yahweh shall live, for there is hope in him that saveth them. So we're in great fear every day that we that we do something stupid, and we and 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 we, we lose this truth. The Most High um, take away His Holy Spirit from us. His Rakhakudash. You know. That's why it says the spirit of those that fear Yahweh shall live. So we gotta continue to fear, fear that, that. Um, it says the fear of Yahweh is is to depart from evil. We gotta eschew evil like Job. We gotta run from from wickedness like like um, Joseph. But there's sometimes, whereby you you've given you give you've given all your strength and you and Yahweh shows you that yo, my strength is made perfect in weakness. All right, and that, and that comes with humbleness. That doesn't come with being puffed up and saying, "Yeah, I could do this on my own," you know. And you know, this is a this is a testimony, basically. You know, and I'm not going into details, but you know, I, I got the habit of of thinking that, "Yeah, I could do I could do anything on my own," you know. Think you're a lone soldier, or or and, and so forth. That's why we need the Akim, we need the prayers, we need Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, we need these scriptures. We need to fast. You know, we need to meditate. We need to isolate ourselves sometimes and just think about our sins and think about our struggles and think about um, the things that 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 weakens us. All right. I hope I pray that I'm making you know making my point clear to the spirit. And just just receive this revelation. This is Sirach 39 and 18. It says, At his command at his commandment is done whatsoever pleaseth him. At his commandment is done whatsoever pleaseth him, and none can hinder when he shall save. So it's so it's so it's the most high pleasure to save you. Right? He enjoys saving you. He enjoys being the hero because he loves the gratitude, he loves the praise. That's why he helps us. That's why he knows what we're going through. He is strong. He has he has the most strength, you know. And it says, "At his commandment is done whatsoever pleaseth him." So, he just as the Most High sent Job to tempt, to send Slack, he sent Satan to, to test Job, you know. That was at the Most High commandment, and it will um, and it will please the Most High to save to save you also, you know. But know that we we are being we are being tempted. Slack it. We are being tested based on our own, own, our own. Um, let me just get it. Slack it, because you know people are gonna, people are gonna think stupidly that you know it's the most side attempt you. This scripture always debunks that crap. If anybody try to cross that line, this is uh James chapter one verse thirteen. Let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of the most side, for the most side cannot be tempted with evil, neither tempted he any man. Right, the most I don't tempt anyone, but every man is is but every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed. Okay, so when we're drawn away with our own lust and enticed, and it says that then when lust has has hath conceived, it bringeth forth sin, and sin when it is finished bringeth forth death. All right, so th this is all in us. And he's right there waiting waiting to help us willingly all right so let's get John 17 of 15 and Yahweh Shai is right there with us you know Yahweh Shai is right there with us lowering for us praying for us you know sending the angels to comfort us to give us the wisdom on sound these scriptures is, is the most high angels that that bestow upon us the wisdom and sound these scriptures help us to do these lessons help us to break down dark sayings and parables and allegories you know and you know to about shimmy for these for this wisdom and understanding we we got to thank him right this is um john chapter 17 verse 15 i pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world but thou but that thou shouldest keep them from evil all right 
he, how should I pray for the elect? You pray for the men and women and children that will be tempted in these days. And we, we won't come out of this world until we're dead or, or delivered in those chariots. And he will keep us from evil as long as we have faith. We remember that. And that's that's part of the fear. And 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 to hope in hope in him. I believe I said I believe I read that in Sirach. Sirach um third or four. Just double double check on it. Slack y'all. Yeah, he says, For there is hope, for there is for for their hope is in him that delivereth that saveth saveth them. For their hope is in him that saveth them. Right? Our hope is in the most side that that saveth us. We can't save ourselves, bro. We can't save ourselves from nothing. From nothing. You know, for his mercies and loving kindness. Alright, this is Hebrews ten and thirty two. It says but call but call to the remembrance the former days in which after ye were illuminated ye endure a, a great fight of afflictions so we got to remember what we went through we got to remember how we used to smoke or we used to steal or we used to you know have sex with another man's wife and being tempted to smoke again and and steal and these stuff like that right being tempted to be caught up in birthdays and 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 and, and uh, Christmas and all these other abominable things, you know, and it's gonna get hard as as we continue in this truth. And we just we just gotta learn the balance of being, of not being over righteous and not being over wicked. You know, sometimes your boss might might say Merry Christmas and and you ready to cut him and it's just, you know, you just just brush it off and, and say all the best or something. You know, you know all the best pertaining to what. Okay, pertain to the most I will. You know, the scripture says be wise as wise as serpent and harmful and harmless as a dove. Alright? Let's read that again. But call to remember the former days in which after you were illuminated, remember the former days after we were illuminated, after we were enlightened, after we were were, were shown the, the way, the truth, and the light and the life. You ye enjoyed gr a great fight of affliction and you and you're beating yourselves up as well. And your greatest enemy in this truth is yourself. I could testify that because I, I, uh, I'm always beating myself up. Never feel, uh, you know. Don't you never feel that you that you're good enough and, and we're not? You gotta, you gotta get some self love. You know, it says so in Sirach. I can't remember the precept right now. But, um, my brother brought it out in a lesson. But um, yeah, we gotta love ourselves sometimes. You know, don't get too cocky, too full of ourselves. My next lesson is gonna go into that. This is um, Lord willing. This is our uh, First Corinthians last precept. Uh, oh snap! First Corinthians ten and thirteen. And this is a classic. This is middle scriptures. You know. This is there, uh, First Corinthians chapter ten verse thirteen. There hath no temptation taken you, but but such as common to man. But the Most High is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above, above that ye are able. So the Most High won't tempt you above that you're able. Now you might not, you might not be getting certain things that you might see other brothers getting, or even, um, or even the heathen. The scripture says, "Envy not an evil doer." All right, I think I'll get that before I finish this off. Slack you, slack you from bouncing all over the place, but you know, spirits have you on me for this um, for this lesson. Let me see. I thought it was one with evil duo. Okay, this program like is stupid since it updates.
Nice luck. Why did I click that? Yeah, this is Proverbs chapter 3, verse 31. Envy no envy thou not the oppressor and choose none of his ways. So don't envy two thirds that will oppress you. Don't envy the, the heathens, you know, and don't even don't envy your brothers either. You know, the scripture says be content. Be content with your office, be content with with the blessings and the mercies that Yahweh Bashim show, has shown you. Alright. Let me read this again. This is first Corinthians chapter ten, verse thirteen. There hath no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. But the Most High is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but will with temptation also make a way to escape that ye may be able to bear it. Alright, so whatever temptation, whatever test you're going through, the Most High know, know that, you know, if you really turn up the juice, we buckle and, and the world, the world, will consume us you know we are no match for Satan so pray for pray for deliverance you know you can see how Bashem Yahushai Bashem Rakako Dash Baba Kusha Baba Kusha Baba Kusha Hawashai Nawa Mayan Rai you know and that's, you know, Yahweh in the name of Yahweh Shai, deliver us from evil. You know, according to the prayer, that's why Yahweh Shai said it in the prayer. You know, deliver us from evil. The Lord's Prayer. Right? And he, and there is no temptation taking with such as coming to mind. He's not going to come to come with no outer world, outer world tests. You know things that things that you know we could relate to you know what kind of what kind of what kind of teacher would teach you something or, or give you a test on something never taught you you know and he's faithful and he won't suffer you to be tempted above that you're able he won't give you a burden I said it I said it before in in few lessons but will with temptation also make a way for you to escape and able to bear it all right with that, I pray that this lesson was that you find. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakhak, Dash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of breaking the stone. Shalom Akiyam, Shalom Akwatiyam. Stay up, stay strong, stay faithful. Rakhta.